really excited. It's great to be able to do a classic on Broadway that is so well received by audiences that seem to not know the play, which is great. It's 33 years since it was on Broadway, and uh, so I think it's time that Broadway audiences were reintroduced to this very, very great comedy. It's so delicious. It really is delicious. Um, you know, I take as much pleasure in it as the audience does hearing it for the first time. Uh, I just think the characters are all just wonderful and, and they amuse me and uh, so I'm always thrilled to, to come and participate again. I think it is the very best example of what great comedy can be. Um, Brian Bedford, who I've worked with a lot at Stratford in Canada, um, and I love him and I think he understands this play very well. He is a genius. He's, I've learned a lot from him. You know, he really knows his stuff. He knows how to do this kind of thing. And there is such a style to it. And, you know, I think just take picking up the gems that he has to say and watching him, you know, and how he does Lady Bracknell has been, has been great. He's such a brilliant, brilliant Lady Bracknell. And uh, I've seen a few and played it myself, and he's really brilliant. So um, he has such a wonderful eye and ear for this period and this play, the style. I grew up on Three's Company, and, you know, I loved Jack Tripper, and he was always getting stuck in situations and having to kind of invent what's gonna happen next, and, and there's a, a physical room for that in, in this play even. Social situations don't, they date, you know. Play is about the emancipation of women, or that it suddenly becomes slightly dated. They're very good, but they do date. And uh, this one in particular, Wiles, of course, doesn't because it's pure fun. It's about humanity, and it's about humanity that never changes. People are always hypocrites. We always, uh, we're always after things that we shouldn't have. We're always getting ourselves in problems that we can't believe we're in. I don't think any of the elements of the story are unfamiliar to an audience today, and I think Oscar Wilde says them better than most writers before or since. All of that is Oscar Wilde. It's not us. We walk, I walk on stage in Act Two. I don't do anything. I just walk on and people laugh. I mean, I didn't do anything. That's lucky. Who gets to do that? People who uh, were great friends of Oscar Wilde said, uh, this was the play, the importance of being earnest. Of course, this was his greatest achievement. This, this play contained pure Oscar Wilde. This is how Oscar talked. And, and so we're, we're privileged to Everybody in the cast has their 15 minutes of being Oscar Wilde. You will laugh. I defy you not to laugh. We will make you laugh. You will laugh probably more than once. A wonderful, silly story, wonderful language, and a wonderfully good time. You know, and not, there's not many plays written like, like that anymore. You don't have that many laughs in a night in the theater very often.